everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're filming in the, the study again. Um, I think the light is a bit better because there's a bigger window the other side of the camera. And I've got my work desk here, but it's just handy to put things on. I know it's a bit plain, it's just the door in the background. Um, but let me know what you think of it. Do you prefer the bedroom or do you prefer in here? Unfortunately, I'm not in a position yet to be able to film with all my bags and a nice display in the background like everybody else does, and I'm really sorry for that. Uh, but I just don't have a room in my house to do that in at the moment. So, uh, hey ho, that's that really. So, I've got an unboxing, well, an unbagging, a reveal. I haven't actually got a box. Does that matter? Probably. Slightly critical in terms of an unboxing. Anyway, it's Chanel. So who cares? There is Chanel in here. There's always a story, but I'm just gonna, I've peeked at this. But it was a pre-love purchase, and I think when you buy pre-love particularly, I think you wanna you wanna look, you wanna see, you wanna know as soon as possible what is this like? Is this as I was expecting? Um, I bought it from someone I bought a number of items from before, so I wasn't, you know, too concerned at all. She's completely trustworthy, a great seller, and a uh, private seller, by the way. Facebook groups, mm -hmm. But this is an item that I've had my eye on for a while, and particularly, oh, about a year and a bit ago. So March 2022, when I went to Paris and uh, the group of us, whilst we were in Chanel, Emma Anders bought the classic version of this item. And I was like, I really should have asked about one as well. That's a really good item. When Emma last did a vlog sale, I was like, you're not going to be selling you one of them, are you? And she's like, hell no, that, that's staying with me. So, let's remove the bubble wrap. It's been nicely packaged. Bubble wrap. Doesn't come with a dust bag, but my plan is to use it and not have it kept in a dust bag anyway. It's an O case. So I already have a mini O case in size, bits of bubble wrap on the zip. Uh, I already have a mini O case in gold in with the classic burgundy and this now is a bigger o case <laughs> in black so this is the large o case this is the updated one that has the mona lisa pocket on the back now as you can see i don't have unlike emma hers has the classic burgundy so it means that the zip pull and the material, the other side of it, is burgundy. Mine is plain black. Mine also has got champagne gold hardware, not gold. So it's, yeah, it's that in-between colour. You can see, yeah, it's, it's if I just, just have handy here, my Chanel issue, which has the gold. Well, it's got aged gold hardware, but you can see the difference there. Gold, champagne. The strings are noisy. So, we have the pocket on the back, and there's details about this that I like in terms of the. I remember Super Dacre pointed this out. So, basically, where you've got the stitching here, goes down in the corner and then it continues in the same place. So that is really nice. Where you've got the pocket on the back, pretty much aligns with the rest of the quilting. It's not quite perfect. It's close enough. They've gone slightly off on that corner, but it's, anyway, it's fine. We have leather on the zip pull here. Nice smooth zip. <laughs> I mean, it's a pouch, there's not much to say about it. Um, the inside, like I said, this is the newer one, is this, maybe you can see, 
like cotton material. We've got some branding here. Mine says Chanel made in Italy. Oh, you see this nice, this nice caviar leather here as well. And then we've got this interior zip there. And I have included, but I say I don't have the dust bag, but I do have the authenticity card, which does match, I've checked, and the care booklet. So yeah, the dust bag would have been nice, and it comes with a box, and it's always nice, I think, when you buy things pre-loved, they come with all the original packaging. It's nice, it makes it that much more of a luxurious experience. But I got this pre-loved, and I got it at a pre-loved price. And to me, I would rather save like the £500 or so and not the box and dust bag and my plan is to use this. Now what am I going to use this for? My intent is to use it for my laptop. Now I could obviously slip anything in the back pocket, I wouldn't want to put anything bulky in there but I could just slip something in quickly or if I was just going somewhere with my laptop and just wanted to pop my phone in I could just do that as well if I was just carrying, I wouldn't like store it like that will do it for a long time but if I was just doing something quickly I could do that um, I don't think I would do it this way I think it would it goes in it does go in but I just feel like it's putting that little bit more pressure on the pocket than just doing that which if I'm just doing it quickly to carry then that's fine but you have got the option and that is with the Apple iPhone 13 Pro. Needs an upgrade. Anyway, hopefully December. So that's it really. Um, my plan was to use it for my laptop. Here we have said laptop, which I have currently got. It feels really heavy. I've currently got it in this in case slip pocket, which I spent too much money on getting it from eBay because they discontinued it. It's got a stain there, I don't know what from. I'll just try and wash that out. A few marks on the back being this canvas. Um, feels like. Hmm, just trying to think weight wise what they feel like. Yeah, I think this is a bit heavier. Anyway, I'll show you the sizing. This is for my MacBook Air 13 inch. So you can see the O case is the tiniest bit taller, but it means it's got a bit more zip clearance. Um, and yeah, width wise, pretty much identical. If anything, the O case is about two millimeters wider. It really is that slight. So here we have said MacBook. And that goes in easily. Now if I slide it down to the zip end, you can see here, that's how much room, like a finger's worth, that's how much room you've got um, at the edge. So it's not the perfect fit. And um, where the zip is, it's literally, again, about a centimetre. But you want that clearance to be able to close the zip without catching the laptop. So once it's done up, it's, yeah, there's not much at all. The other thing I really like about these, and I've, I've said this about the Mini O case as well, is I love the CCs there at the top of the zip. It's just a really nice little feature. So if I'm going somewhere, I want my laptop, I want my phone, here I am. <laughs> so it's nice and handy, having the zip as well, the phone might fall out, but having the zip as well, my laptop isn't going to fall out, nothing's going to come unflapped, unflat, um, so it's got some protection. I could also fit in some paperwork and that's the other way that you could use this is you could use it um, as a document holder. It's with the zip pocket inside. You could also, you know, put some bits in there. I could put, for example, my 
a little adapter from where I take my SD card out of my camera and upload videos. I could put that in there if I want to. The only thing about this in terms of using it as a laptop holder is this where you've got the zip. Is that going to mark the laptop? Now I'll have this stood up, not laying down, so I think it's going to be alright because it's not a tight fit. Like I say, you can see it's thin, so it's not going to be all flappy. Um, but yeah, it's not going to be that big. So this is my new O case. I've wanted one for a while. I finally, I'm glad I finally bit the bullet. I think it got to that point with Chanel prices going up and up and up on everything. I mean, these new are over 1,200. I think they're about 1,250 pounds now. New. That's a lot of money. I mean, I paid a lot of money for this. At, but I think I didn't over, I don't say I overpaid or anything like that. That's what they are. And they're only going to go up because everything just goes up. So I thought, let's just bite the bullet. You've seen one you like that's in really good condition. There's a tiniest bit of wear on the corner. But it's so slight and it's black anyway. And you know what? It's going to get wear because I'm going to use it. So that really doesn't bother me. And sometimes it's just nice having... I'm one of those people, I like little things. I do, I like little luxurious things. I like knowing that my laptop's going to be in a nice luxurious case. It sounds silly, I know. But we all have our little ways, our little idiosyncrasies. And I do love a little bit of luxury. I love a bit of Chanel. And yeah, I don't know, I'm going through a Chanel phase at the moment. Like the makeup brushes and the mirror. I'm going through a Chanel phase. I still want a Chanel foundation. I'm not, I don't want any more Chanel bags at the moment. I mean, never say never, and there's this gorgeous Chanel 19 I've seen. But, I'm not bag shopping. I'm okay shopping. So yeah, um, I'm sure I said in a previous video as well that I absolutely do not need any more SLGs. But this is one that I don't already have. And like I say, it's classic. And if I do change my mind in time, then I'll just set it on. I shouldn't lose any money. Like I say, it's already got its depreciation from new to pre-loved. And Chanel you know, prices are just going up. So, not bought it with that in mind at all, because I never do. But it is a bit of a reassurance. So that's it from me. I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to put this stuff away. And I will see you very soon for another video. Bye.